This is a calculus solvers of revolution problem. Feel free to give it a shot. To solve this problem, it helps to draw our graphs. So y equals the square root of x. If we substitute some points for x, for example, with x equals zero, the square root of zero is just equal to zero. With the square root of one is just one. Square root of four. Through substitution, we can determine the points that belong on the graph y equals square root of x. Just to get a rough sketch, we don't need that many points. So y square root of x looks something like this. Y equals two is just a horizontal line at the height of two. Finally, the x-axis is just itself. So our bounded region is this right here. Next, we want to visualize the revolution around the x-axis as specified by the problem by mirroring or reflecting each graph across the x-axis. So reflecting y equals the square root of x looks something like this. And reflecting y equals 2 across the x-axis looks something like this. So ultimately, what our solid is going to look like is a cylinder with a paraboloid cut out of it. So our strategy to calculate the volume of this solid is going to be to calculate the volume of this blue cylinder and subtract from it the volume of the green paraboloid. First of all, from our graph, we can tell that the cylinder has a height of four and that its base has a radius of two. Therefore, applying the volume for the area of a cylinder, we get that the volume of this cylinder is pi times two squared times four, which is equal to 16 pi. 